Hello all, Serious Lee's here, back for some more of the Frigateer, uh, and we are in that other star system where I'd found a traveler in the space station and marked a grave, so we're going to go get that today. And we're going to go try to get even more glyphs today from graves, specifically from uh, systems where uh, travelers used to be in space stations and may or may not be there anymore. Uh, Lava Lamp tested it out and said he didn't find any there, so we're going to go check. We should still be able to find player bases there that mark graves. However, it's going to be tedious. We're probably only going to get one, maybe two graves per system we go to. So, let's exchange for... You know what? Let's give nanites and see what we get. We need purple. We did not get purple. We got red. Planetary chart. We want specific charts. Purple. Oh, we can't buy very many. Are we really that low on nav data? Well, yeah, we spent all of it. We won't find any here or here. It probably got moved over. There it is. 40 of it right there. And I don't have that technology yet. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's fly into space. On our way over to the grave. Let's call it the freighter because it doesn't seem to be here. Boom. Uh, I'm not close enough still. <laughs> we gotta get this thing built. I don't even know if I bought the tech yet. Uh, I have, no, five salvage frigate modules. I think that's exactly what we need to buy this thing. I don't remember what it costs to install. Let's find out. Also, while we're here, we can just grab the nav data. Yoink. Uh, and put it over here. Oh, it sacks to 40. It didn't have to... Uh, you know what? I only want to carry 20. I don't need more than 20 right now. But let's get this thing installed. We may as well. Uh, we got these from Space Station Missions, not from uh, Faction Rewards standing, Guild Standing. Uh, no, not Storage. Base Parts and Upgrades. Matter Beam costs 5 exactly. Costs antimatter, magnetic resonators, and wiring looms. We have we have two more antimatter to make. We'll just do it right here. And we need uh, magnetic resonators by three. I think it said. Luckily, that's just pretty simple materials that we've purchased before. Let's get this thing built. Right there sounds good. Now we can even put these things back and use them from wherever. Okay, let's head straight back over to the space station since that's way closer than the grave. We'll go to the grave second. Actually, where even are we? What do we got here? Uh, two planets that I discovered and haven't scanned either of, okay. We found a grave here, and we don't know what is here. What What is here? Do we have anything nice? That's very red grass. Probably lush, but with bad... Uh, ooh, aggressive sentinels. New. No thanks. And the planet is behind my freighter. Uh, that looks better. It's got red sky from here. Maybe it'll change when we get closer. It's a tropical planet. We're going to go find a portal on that planet after we get some more maps too. Might not be enough maps. Also, uh, one more check. Where are we? We're in a Corvax system. I believe we're going to need a Corvax casing then. Or a cube. I can't remember which we need. Don't have anything there or there or there. So let's talk to some pilots maybe. Look at that. Rocket boots installed, just in case you're wondering. All right, specific maps first. Uh, specific charts, planetary chart, alien cartographic data. That should be more than enough. Five is enough, uh, but I want some extras. There's a fighter pilot here, and that's it. That's all that landed. Might have to go to a trade outpost too. I don't know that these guys carry the thing we need. I think they do. They don't. <laughs> okay. Uh, does the GTT? I don't think it does. Get out of the way, sir. 
I need to talk to this terminal. Hello. No, nobody has Corvax casings or convergence cubes. We're gonna have to find a trade outpost then. Let's go to that grave first. Uh, we might also get lucky with some green crates. Cross our fingers for a sky change color as we get close. We're right next to a red sky planet, so that can be changing the sky of this planet. And it should change any second. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Blue. This is much better. I am very happy to find a portal here, even if it's got gross orange water. Oh, very mountainous, though. That's not that great. Oh, uh, well. Whatever. Portal's a portal. Doesn't hurt my eyes to look around with purple and blue. Alright. Grave number two achieved. Now, in theory, we can get to all the places that used to have lots of travelers in the space station. Like, double travelers. <clears throat> but I don't think they do anymore. Let's see what tech we get from this guy, too. 2 of 16, memory fragment. Let's open her up. And we got oxygen rerouter. I think I have that. No, I don't. Okay. Well, that gets installed. Doesn't help us at all. It doesn't stack with uh, th those. So it'll help us for swimming. Uh, all right. So let's go find a portal. Make a save after we talk to the grave. Activate these maps. We want a monolith. Perfect. Second, we need to hop in the ship. Actually, I'm going to hop out real quick. I just saw my life support. Whoops, it's really, really low. There we go. Now, I don't think I made a hotkey for this because it's really frustrating these days to have to go through an extra menu in first-person mode. I just want a trade outpost, please. Thank you. That used to be a lot faster. Also this way. How far? 20 minutes. Let's leave atmosphere. So... This is filmed quite a ways ahead of time from when it will be airing uh, because I need to get into that expedition before it ends. I need to get it done before it ends, so this will be our final episode before I do the expedition myself. There's one more thing I need to gather that I would like to bring, and that's activated copper. Uh, you need that for one of the milestones to build something. The mind arc, I think. And uh, it'll help to have it on me when I get to the anomaly. So I want to bring some of that. And fortunately, my home base planet has exactly that. Activated copper. Landing pad, there we go. We're going to need some other pilots here anyway, but let's run around checking the green crates while we wait for them. Not on this level. There's one. The hydrogen jelly, not what we need. There's a couple more. Gek relic, that's the wrong species. Two gek relic. I, we're only gonna get gek relics, aren't we? Let's just buy it from a pilot. I heard them landing. Ooh, not too bad of a starship. I like the pointy nose. And I can't remember which one we need, so let's buy both. We'll just sell the, the one that we don't. Or keep it forever, who knows, whichever. All right, now off to that monolith we go. Oh, uh, one more thing. We also, I think between episodes, I finally installed all of those X-Class modules we opened up. So I have extra shields, I have some extra life support here. Let's hit H. 
I have four missing health modules, so let's look for some white crates while we're here too. Nothing, anything down there on those platforms? Nothing, no health here, all right, fair enough. We can just take a creature calling mission and uh, fix our health that way. <laughs> Off to that monolith, which is probably also 20 minutes away. 30 minutes away, okay. Now we are gonna have to solve a riddle here, and we're gonna have to power this portal. I don't know that we have the resources to do that. We'll find out. We'll gather what we need to. We'll do whatever it takes. A stubby monolith. <sighs> That's a bit frustrating. I'm gonna move that. I wanna grab that word. Oh, I got a milestone for either words or running. Learned eight words, okay. The more words we learn, the better odds. Oh, hey, look at that, little bug ball. Oh yeah, we have no scanner mods. <laughs> if we don't get a lot of units for these creatures. Uh, yeah, the better chance we have of actually solving this riddle. But we'll make a save just in case. We got more maps if we fail, we could go to another monolith. Inspecting the monolith surface when I'm seized by a strange vision, its words echo in my skull. R, that didn't help at all. I feel faint, as if my mind is being invaded. Pustules on my skin grow, bubble and pop. I feel countless tiny stabbing pinpricks, scrabbling from each gaping hole. Suddenly, metal spiders, perhaps tiny sentinels, run up my shoulder and into my visor. Can this be real? This cannot be real. I start to scream. Uh, I'm pretty sure weight is the right answer here. Pass some sort of test, reward materializes. I get the atlas word for the and a Corvax casing. So I'm pretty sure Corvax casing is what I need here. Interesting that it gave me one. Yeah, Corvax casing. So it looks like uh, this particular monolith gives that as a reward, so I wouldn't have needed to go to this transition, but I had no way of knowing that until I got here. Nine creatures on this planet. That might be some more nanites, but as you can see, because I sold all the excess X-Class modules, I don't need 2,000 nanites. And if I do, I'll go back to the pirate space station and get them there. Five minutes away, that's pretty close as things go. What's this milestone for? Ten words learned. Ah, ah, ah. Does this thing take to power and does it even have a landing site? It looks like it's in a ravine. It's not buried in the mountain, is it? No, okay, good. Look at all that fog, that's interesting. So, first things first. I don't know that this is going to be our permanent Euclid portal, but we may as well set it up. What was that? What did we get a reward for? We just got something. Didn't we? I heard the noise. I mean, it doesn't matter. Okay, now let's get this thing powered. Uh, ooh, how much sodium do I have? Oh, plenty, okay, good. Uh, I and ice cobalt, I know I have a lot of.
indium I don't need for anything. We're going to use that. Condensed carbon I probably have the most of. Oxygen is precious. More indiums should be all we need. Yeah, we got this powered. Easy. Alright. Nominee, nominee, nominee. Blah, 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 blah. Activate the portal. Alright, let's go to this first one. We have bird and sun. We need bird, bird, sunbird. Then we need sunbird, sunbird. And then we need. Bird sun, bird sun. Valid address for Euclid. Let's go check it out. We're definitely going to check the space station first, uh, just in case there are travelers there. However, we're not going to talk to them if there are any there. We're going to go to bases. Whoops, 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 whoops. I have a strong suspicion travelers are gone from these systems. Uh, not gone. They're just no longer hanging out permanently on the space station. They might travel between trade outposts and back to the space station. That's what they were always supposed to be doing. Uh, moving around randomly through the system to different spots. <clears throat> oh, that's uh, not a good sign that it said first contact. No, 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 look at all this. Yeah, look at there's bases and markers all over the place here. We're probably in the right spot. In fact, that yeah, radiation protection active. Let's take a peek at these names. Storm crystals. Space on behind that. Settlement storage. It's, uh, settlement. There's a base. The underworld. Radiant shards. I think we're on an aggressive weather planet. Port a port. -a port a port, port. Okay. All right, not seeing too many other base oxygen. My ooh, that's tempting. All right, let's hop in the ship, go to the space station. We'll take a look at the bases from the teleporter. That'll give us better names for bases anyway. Oh, there we go. can be walking around on the ground floor, but they all seem to start upstairs, so we're going to start upstairs. We got a Viking, two Viking, three Viking, Gek Viking, Corvax. Lots of Vikings today. Not seeing any travelers here, as reported. No, no, nothing here. Okay. Well, at least that's an accurate report. <laughs> it's unfortunate. I would love to see two travelers here. Okay, other bases. Let's look through here. We've got a lot in the list. Let's start at the bottom. Another glyph outpost. This is on that. Traveler grave. Ground base. Alpha... Under construction, Blue World. Let's go to these two first. They appear... I can't tell what's under those stairs. It might just be nighttime. They appear to be on different planets. Can we check? Uh, yeah. Rainy planet. Back out. Go to this one. It, they're on this. It's probably the same glyph. Almost for sure. Uh... I just don't know that we're going to get a uh, teleporter back up to here or to go to the next base. So I want to take a peek at these now. Ooh, hey, there's an activated copper we could grab. 
Uh, not a lot of these are named Traveler Glyph or Glyph Base or Traveler Grave or anything like that. Oh, wait, I thought I saw a grave name. Oh, no, it's Gravitino. <laughs> Okay, up one. If we see one on a gamma planet, that would be fantastic. Radiant shards. No, no, no. Wait, wait, what does that mean? G portal KPD. No, that can't mean Traveler Grave. The second glyph is here. Travelers. Okay. Keep that one in mind. It's about halfway down the list. Very close to second grave glyph. All right, you know what? Let's just go to this one here. I like the picture the best. Now, I very, 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 very much doubt we're gonna get to 16 glyphs this way. Uh, we might just have to find them naturally in space stations that we visit in our travels, which would suck. Okay, we have a teleporter here, that's great. Uh, I need a flashlight here, because I can't see my way in or out. There's a door over there. And there's no glyph here? No, okay. Oh, uh, is there a reason we're in orbit? There's definitely not going to be a glyph here. This was a lie. I see. Okay. And I don't want to... Uh, hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, we'll take his teleporter. That's convenient. And we'll go to that other one. Oh, why is it not at the bottom now? Are they in reverse order down here? I saw it at the top, I think. Yeah, this is the one. It's going to be hard to find that other guy's one then. Ah. Oh, hey, this is a different planet. Cool. All right, glyph number three. Now, what would happen is if the Traveler was still on the space station and we've grabbed this, we could go talk to him now and he would send us straight back to this exact grave, but we could get a second glyph from him. But since they're gone, that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, so, our coordinates are, I mean, we're gonna be able to figure this out pretty easily by looking around when we get to the next location. Positive 24-ish by positive 135-ish. 24, 135. Uh, now we can hop back here, it's got green grass. Another glyph outpost. I don't exactly trust it. Let's keep looking around. Copper Storm, Underworld. Uh, wait. Maybe there's just two rainy planets here. Because <laughs> this has green grass for sure, and that has blue. Oxygen Mine, Port of Port. We saw that one. Very close to second grave, so that's on the bluegrass planet. I bet if we teleport here, we'll just be up the hill. This is the one we were thinking of, but I bet this is also just up the hill. We might have to hit up that one that is in the air, and actually, that one that was in the air had a picture of green grass, and it teleported us way up in the air on the bluegrass planet. That's what? 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 <laughs> Okay, uh, so our coordinates here are... Oh, we are nowhere near where we used to be. Is there a glyph near us, though? There is. Oh, that's fantastic. Two is more than I expected to be able to get here. Uh, where is it? How do I... Okay, the message is blank. There are no doors. Uh, 
All right, well, in this case, what you do is report the base. Oh, that wasn't the base, okay. There we go, both bases reported. Get the glyph. That, that gets rid of our teleporter, but whatever. Okay, so. Anything else around here, base-wise? Maybe we can just not have to go all the way to the space station. There's something. Oh, that's not close at all. Okay, never mind. Uh, I say we head back to our portal base. And uh, try the next system. We've got some time left. Let's see if we can get two more glyphs in the next system. Now that we have the space station in our list, we can come back here and try again if we want. What are we headed towards? It, it is not the space station, even though it's highlighted. Oh, maybe it is. That's weird. We're on a weird angle. Hmm, almost out of fuel. Let's recharge. No, not. Well, yes, the gravity well as well. Uh, luminance engine. There we go. Oh, perfectly upside down, whoops. Unfortunately, uh, while I only have a list of like, oh, let me turn the light back on here so I can read this while we warp back to our bases, my bases, uh, Euclid Portal. I only have a list of four space stations here with two travelers. They won't have the travelers, but they will have those bases. There is a list of like 10 other systems at least that I didn't write down that I can go get from Zane's World that had one traveler in the space station. Some of those guys might still be there, <clears throat> probably not, but the bases that people put by the graves should still be there. So maybe we can get all of our glyphs from these systems. Uh, next up. Oh, that light is not really, there we go, what can we do? Oh wow, look at that, uh, bird, 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 bird. Sun Sun Bird Sun Sun Bird Sun Sun Sideways running, okay. There we go. <laughs> storms here. What looks to be an otherwise lush planet. A stormy lush, that's fine. There's a base over there already. What's that called? Mold farm. Okay, no. Uh, space station? Oh, right in front of my face. Okay. Oh, look at that ring. That's cool. We have, or should have, two more of these to open. Prepackaged optical drill. I don't know if I have that. I don't. Perfect. And a prepackaged shield. Oh, I don't want that. That's garbage. Oh, 
All right, I saw some glowing, but it's just a geck holding a hologram. Viking, Corvax, Corvax, lots of Corvax, geck. No travelers. Nothing. Okay. Let's check the bases. Oh, something that's going to be a problem is... Okay, here's what we do. We hopped out of our ship and made an autosave. So what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, quit to mode select. We can jump back into the frigateer right away. And this way, the only bases that appear in the other bases section should be the bases in this star system that we can currently see. All of our previous travels today should be erased by logging out. We could also take another look around for travelers since we did a reload. They could have popped up here now, right? Maybe they've spawned in, but I doubt it. Let's go look at the bases. Yeah, see that green one, green grass one is gone. All right, let's look at the names. Nanites, nanites, pygmy mold, glyph two. It appears to be on the planet we were on, the cactus planet. Nanite one, nano, mold two, safe haven, nanite, nanite. Lots of nanite bases, there must be a planet here with lots of mold. Runaway mold base, curious overlook. Well, that's unfortunate. Looks like there might only be the one base here marking a grave. Sentinel ship, that's neat. That's not nanites or mold. Okay, well, let's go to that one base. Uh, where was it? Here we go. Glyph 2. Now, I'm assuming that means Glyph 2 for the system, because uh, if you're following the list on the place I got it from, this would be like 3 or 4. This would be 5, Glyph 5, because you need two glyphs to start this process. Uh, all right, let's hop down here. No, 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 hop down. Assume there's a doorway. Oh, the glyph is just in the base with me, okay. Extract that glyph. Cool, yeah, I'll take it. Uh, that's both over here though. Let's see if we can get these together. Cool, there we go. Um, let's use the teleporter. Check again in the list. Glyph 2, black flag. Uh, what planet is this? Bleak planet, okay. Bubbling planet. I don't know what black flag might represent. It's just a cool name, probably. No glyphs. Uh, thank you, I won't go there. It's gonna be all mold farms. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess we're just going to head straight back to the portal base and dial up the third address with just the first two glyphs. Arctic planet. Green man. I think that's... Oh, that's at the squid ship. Okay. Uh... You'd think there'd be a base here called First Glyph, if there's one called Second Glyph, but all right, I guess not. Back to the Euclid portal. All right.
right, so this one is Bird Bird Sunbird. Same as the first one. And then Sun Bird Bird Sun. So that's different. Okay, all right. Bird Bird Sunbird. Sun, bird, bird, sun. And then bird, bird, sunbird. Okay, we have to do another reload here too after we hop out of our ship in the space station. So after we get back from the expedition, we're going to start putting these portal glyphs to use and buying our frigate fleet. If we can get to the system where we can get those white frigates that I found. I mean, I didn't find them, but I found somebody who found them. <laughs> and it's a great system to buy frigates at. Oh, ah, you know what? I will waste a little teeny bit of launch fuel. Look at that right there. A white container. We need a white container. We could also look at base names. Maybe there's one that says Glyph. I mean, there will be on the space station though. So yeah, let's uh, ignore that and just uh, grab our health. That probably doesn't fully restore us, but good enough. Ooh, hey, look at that. The rings go right through that planet. That's cool, or moon, I suppose. If it's that close to this planet, it's probably not another planet. Nice purple space here, though. Whoa. <laughs> I open up my last... Yes, I did. Okay, we didn't want it. Where did it go? Oh, that's the thing I didn't... Shield is the thing I didn't want. Right, right, right. <clears throat> Alright, restore point saved. We didn't check for travelers yet. I guess we should do that first. Not seeing any. Yeah, it seems like these guaranteed systems are now only guaranteed to have the remnant bases, which is so far enough for us. It certainly beats going through the entire Artemis line. Uh, no other bases. Portal. Blobby glyph. Okay, it's got a glyph at it. I say we just head there straight away. Six out of sixteen, not too shabby. We have a whole I have a whole other planet on my list, and then like eight or nine other addresses to check out from Zane. Uh hey, there it is right there. Look at that. Alright, six of sixteen. Oh yeah, we could use that. We don't have one of them yet. There we go. Uh, we are on a radioactive humidity planet, uh, contaminated planet, it's called. So, teleporter for Glyph on the contaminated planet. It might send us straight back to the exact same spot. Let's actually just uh, check our coordinates. 
So positive 9 by negative 20. Positive 10 by negative 20. <clears throat> okay. Did I just put a beacon down? I might have. That's okay. Positive 10, negative 20, never mind. We're at the same glyph. Okay. Glitch, cable pod, cable pod. Grave there, too. Okay. We'll try that. Interesting screenshot. Looks distorted in some way. Still on the contaminated planet, but what are the coordinates? Yeah, positive 10, negative 20, we're in the exact same spot, and now we don't have a teleporter. They tricked us. They were tricksies. <laughs> uh, all right, well, let's hop up into the air, take a quick peek at base names, maybe. If we can see any others. Glyph support base, where was that? Let's head there. Appears to be on planet. Is this a moon? Is this the moon that was in the rings? We're going around it real quick and I can't pulse. Hopefully, the glyph support base at least has a teleporter in it, so we can head back to our portal. Glyph support base. All right, let's land. I feel like there's a glyph right there. Yeah, I've been, I remember this base. There's a picnic table here. Wow, well, picnic table. There's a table with a glyph underneath it. On top of it, I mean. Cool, we got two glyphs here as well. I'm super happy about that. It looked like there was a teleporter here as well. All right, seven out of 16. Hello, was there somebody walking? Oh, it was just this drone. <laughs> Storage and supplies. Where is your teleporter? There it is. So, I'm going to continue on, continuing on. Uh, let's look at other bases again. While we're here, we got a little bit more time. Uh, what's our coordinates here? We had a negative, uh, positive 10, negative 20, and then we had negative 12, negative 175. I saw a whole bunch of bases around this one, so there's going to be a whole bunch of bases for us to find there as well. Oops. Um, I think that I should just go ahead and spend a little bit of time extra we're going to head back to our portal. We're going to dial that last address. And we won't go to the bases in that one. Uh, but we'll show you the address at least. That third one didn't have two glyphs. Stingy base builders. <laughs> like it's their fault that the uh, HG changed where the travelers were. Oh, this one needs some extra glyphs. Do I even have all the glyphs we need? I, I saw Diplo was in the list. Uh-oh. I know we have seven glyphs, but what do we have? Okay, good. We got Diplo. We need Bird Bird Diplo face. And we got the bay face. And then Bird Diplo face sun. And then Bird sun sun sun. So this should also have two 
glyphs marked in it, hopefully, by bases. We'll go land in the space station and we'll call it a day there. And when we come back, I will have some parts for a brand new starship. We're gonna have the iron vulture parts. Ow, my ears, why was that so loud? Why'd it take so long, too? That one was longer than all the others. Maybe we went further. Maybe there's more planets in this star system, probably. That's what it is. Okay. I do see lots of bases on the horizon, so even though it's at first contact, we're probably in the right spot. all the way around the other side of the planet. That's okay. We will take a quick peek for travelers, but we won't bother looking for the bases just yet. I'll do that between episodes. I'll get as many glyphs as we can the same way, doing the same method, using the portal base we found and going to places where people have noted travelers see what we get after that but I'm really hopeful that we can just portal anywhere we want in Euclid after this hey hey look at this boom a traveler cool so there are travelers here in these space stations sometimes I'm gonna check the bases first then I'll come back and talk to him but that'll be it for today till next time everybody have a good time yeah thumbs up to you too Viking <laughs>